So I came across this AMD R7 240, and I asked you guys what you thought. Should I bench this against NVIDIA's GT710? And well, there's the answer, so let's do it. It was released a few months before the 710, and it cost about $30 more. It was a low-profile, low-performance card that was used by many OEMs, especially Dell and HP. Uh, Spec-wise, they were fairly similar, and although both had various versions, the ones I'm using here have 2 gigs of DDR3 memory. GPU-Z shows the 240 as having GDDR3. However, after checking the onboard chips, it's definitely just regular DDR3. Now this 240 spent its entire life in a small desktop, so before running any benchmarks, I made sure to clean it and replace the thermal compound. First up, just a quick video decode test using YouTube. Both browsers were set to use GPU acceleration, and both did just fine with this 1080 60fps clip. Any drop frame shown in the stats is only from the video initially loading. Once playback was underway, as you can see, both were smooth with zero drop frames. In heaven, it was a night and day difference. The 240's minimum FPS was right around the 710's average FPS, and the 710's max FPS was the 240's average FPS. No question about it, the Radeon won this round. In superposition, you don't even need the stats to see the difference. The 240 averaged about 17 FPS, but compared to the 710, it looked perfectly smooth. Now, neither of these would be great cards to use for BeamNG but the 240 averaged about double the frame rate of the 710. And once again, comparing them side by side, there's no question which looked better. The difference was so great, the 240 finished long before the 710. Unreal Tournament 3 did okay on both, um, but the 240 scored over double the average frame rate. In the Crisis Remastered benchmark, the 240 scored only about 10 FPS faster, but since the numbers are so low, every little bit helps, and once again, the difference between them was night and day. Need for Speed Most Wanted was a game that came out long before either of these cards, but the 240 again pulled ahead by just about 7 FPS on average. Now since I included Raft on the other videos, I'll show a little here. Um, yeah, neither were great, or good even. But the 240 scored a few FPS higher on average, and I can tell you, it also made just getting the character and position for this uh, a lot easier. GTA San Andreas? Yeah, well, old game. But the 710 even struggled with that. There was a lot of input lag, and it just felt forced, while the 240 couldn't care less and often showed over 140 FPS in certain areas. GTA 4, well, the 710 was unplayable. Like I said in the previous video, the input lag was unbearable. But the 240, although not great performance, was actually playable. Now, some may see this and think, you know, it's under 90 FPS, I couldn't play, I couldn't use that. Well, the thing is, there were plenty of people who couldn't afford the top of the line at the time, and they had to get by with what they had. And it looks like the 240 would have been a great card for those people. In GTA 5, I couldn't believe how well it did. The 710 was unbearable, but the 240, yeah, I could use this without a problem. Driving around, I got around 60 FPS, where the 710 peaked at just about 15. 
Now here's the last segment of the benchmark that I'll let play for you, just so you can see the difference. And I didn't forget Portal 2. Yeah, both did okay. But again, the 240 did a lot better. Now in the previous video, I used Handbrake to compare the video encoding abilities of each. And that's the one problem with the 240. It can decode and accelerate video, but not encode it. So I had to leave the handbrake test out. However, as you can see, the 240 blew everything else away. Matter of fact, the only ones that beat it were the integrated graphics for Portal 2. But other than that, looking at these graphs, you would think the 240 was in a, a completely different class of GPUs. But it really wasn't. It was sold alongside NVIDIA's GT710 as a low-end, low-cost GPU. I might have to find some others uh, from that time and compare them as well. But until then, I hope you're all doing well, and uh, well, I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.